Before we get started, first off, you need to show some respect. Before we get started, I'll, we want to say that our thoughts and prayers go out to Pastor Chuck. His son passed away this week. So, if you could, send some thoughts and prayers out for Pastor Chuck. Hey, right, we're with you. Also, this past Sunday... I don't know if any of y'all heard the news. I've got a little speech prepared. The news that came out that fateful Sunday, September 17, 2017, hit me hard. The news that came out that day not only devastated me, but devastated the entire wrestling world. Bobby the Brain Heenan passed away. Born on November 1st, 1944, is Brandon Luis Heenan, Bobby Heenan is regarded as one of the greatest managers and talkers ever to grace the squared circle. He wrestled, he managed, he commentated over many decades. Bobby had to drop out of school in eighth grade just to support his mother and his grandmother. His first break came in wrestling as a heel manager known as Pretty Boy Bobby Heenan. His character, which he used most of his career, was that of a cocky loudmouth that would cower when he was confronted. He started in the WWA, World Wrestling Association, managing the likes of Angelo Papo, who is the father of Macho Man Randy Savage. He managed the Assassins, the Valiant Brothers, and the Blackjacks. He went on to the AWA, the American Wrestling Association, to manage Nick Botwinkle, and the crippler, Ray Stevens. In the AWA, he dubbed himself as The Brain. Also in the AWA, the fans started calling him The Weasel because he could always find a way to weasel out any situation. In 1984, The Brain made his way to the WWF. He managed the Heenan family. Members of the Heenan family were the likes of Big John Studd, Ken Patera, King Kong Bundy, Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff, Mr. Perfect, Harley Race, Ric Flair, and Andre the Giant. He later would commentate with Gorilla Monsoon, which will go down as one of, if not the best, commentating teams in the history of professional wrestling. He then would claim to be a broadcast journalist. The brain would refer to his would refer to the fans as humanoids and ham and eggers. Bobby Heenan would move on to commentate for the WCW until the year 2000. In 2002, Heenan would be diagnosed with throat cancer. In 2004, the brain was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. On September 17, 2017, Heenan passed away surrounded by his family at his home in Largo, Florida. Bobby Heenan was a definite influence on me and my character. The fans would call him the weasel. Y'all would call me a hamster. But, it, I mean, it, it meant a lot to me because basically a lot of the stuff I do was a lot of stuff that Bobby Heenan would do. He influenced me greatly. But... I can already see it now. Bobby and Gorilla right now in heaven calling out all the main events right now. I wish I wish just one time we could we could hear them one more time call one more match. So I just want to say, rest in peace, brain. The bum and all these humanoids and hammond are gonna miss you. So if you could please bow your head for the 10 bell salute.
Frank, we're going to miss you, brother.